Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Arthanex Plays Europa New Salus 4 as Byzantium. So we just finished a war, we finally annexed the Ottomans, putting an end to the greatest danger that Byzantium has ever faced. Uh, and we also won a war with Kara in which we took the territory necessary for us to reestablish the Thane system. And we also forced them to release Georgia and the other Georgian minor that I can't pronounce. It's like MRT or something. Anyway, we um, so our immediate goal is we're going to call our diplomat back from Venice. And we're going to try and uh, establish first alliances and then, or royal marriages and then alliances. And then vassalize both of them ourselves um, peacefully, if we can. Um, our next target's probably going to be Golden Horde. Although we can't, or possibly the Papal State, depending on how things go. I'm not sure if Portugal is still the defender of the Catholic faith or not. Still want to go after Portugal at some point, but um, the opportunity has not arisen. But since we have five years of a uh, Regency Council before our heir comes of age, it's probably going to be a relatively peaceful episode. Um, and with that in mind, since I'm one, uh, one leader over the cap, yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and dismiss my least important general, uh, this guy. So, because he's costing me one military point per month, so we'll dismiss him. Um, we still have our best general, of course, who is quite good, actually. Um, we're also up to 83 army tradition, which is quite a lot. Um, all right, so um, we don't have, oh, we could buy one of these guys, but I want our treasure to recover. If we buy one, it'll cost us a fortune in upkeep, and I want our treasure to recover for a while. So there's, since there's no plus one available there, I'm not going to buy one. Uh, however, I am going to finally get milita uh, uh, admin tech nine. Now that we have thirty percent off of a neighbor bonus here, or actually, you know, now that I think about it, this would be a good time to westernize as soon as we finish over extension, since we do have a. Um, let's see, do we have a theologian that we could hire? We don't. But we do have a period of enforced peace. So let me do some quick math on this. Um, if we were to westernize, reduce our stability by three. Let's hold off on buying the next technology, actually. We've got a lot of admin, we've got a lot of power points banked. 2,400 power in total. Um, we've got about 1,800 power points banked. Now might be a good time to westernize. So let's hold off for a bit on the technologies. Um, We also don't have that much unrest currently, so yeah. Um, we are, however, going to move our troops back. Um, yeah, you can go there. Send you here. And we do, we are below one quarter of our manpower, but. We only need 5,000 men to reinforce our armies. We should be okay. I don't think we're in any danger of triggering a peasant's war. All right, so let's go ahead and unpause it. Yeah, they rivaled each other. I suppose that's not surprising. That is gonna make it harder to ally with both of them, however. Um, I was just looking at their relations because I was a little bit worried that Russia was going to try and swoop in, and, or not Russia, but Moscovy was going to try and swoop in and vassalize them before I could. I'd be surprised if they didn't offer me an alliance here now that I've royal married both of them.
Fortunately, I already started coring them, so that doesn't matter. And alliance offer from Georgia. And to improve your relations a little bit first. Okay. Now you will accept it. If you don't offer me one first. Which I expect you will. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll wait till the 24th of July and offer you one myself. Okay, now I'll go ahead and send my other diplomat to improve relations with Georgia. And then, yeah, I can vassal, you'll accept, and then they'll both accept vassalization as soon as I get my relations high enough. So it's just a matter of waiting until that happens. Uh, in the meantime, I have decided I don't need to worry about protecting trade in um, Constantinople anymore. I now own all the territory except for one province, which is in Moldavia and Constantinople. Um, Oh, I want to redo that one. Well, as soon as my guy gets back from the Golden Horde, I will. So I'm going to send these guys to start protecting trade in Alexandria. And I'm going to go ahead and send my merchant here to transfer trade. Georgia declared war even after I allied with them? I am very surprised. Well, um, I guess I'm going to get Georgia as a vassal a lot more easily than I expected because I should, I should be able, yeah, they're less than 100%. I should be able to force vassalize them. All right. Uh, and it should not even be that hard. Oh, except that Kara is in this war too. Oh, except Emirati is the war leader. So I won't be able to vassalize Georgia. At least I royal married them. They can't believe they attacked. Why is Kara in this war?
Yeah, I cannot believe they attacked. It's the craziest thing. Pragmatic sanction. Uh, oh, they have a female heir. I still don't understand why Kara got called into this war. They're not allied with Emirati. doesn't matter too much. Um, right. If I'm not able to get Georgia as a vassal somehow because of this, I'm going to be very upset. You know what? If I force vassalize Georgia because Kara is in this war, that's going to put me back at war with Kara, isn't it? And Emirti, if I can force Vasilite them as part of a separate peace deal, which I'm not sure that I can. Oh no, I can. Perhaps not. Probably have to wait for their capital to fall, but maybe not. Odds are Emirati will peace out before I can vassalize them, but maybe not.
Okay, will you accept it now? You will. Um, all right, I think this might drag me into the other side of this war, but we'll see. Nope, it didn't. That just ended the war. All right, well, they're my vassal. Hooray! Not exactly how I expected that to happen, but it does allow me... I don't have exactly contiguous borders, but I can walk to these provinces now because I can walk through Georgia's territory. So that's good. You guys can meet back up over there. Uh, actually, you know what, I take it back, go back to where I originally sent you. You go here. you oh I already finished that good <laughs> I was going to say I could finally finish converting that other province but I don't even need you to do that um, uh, what do I get for achieving religious unity some good stuff and yeah it won't even take me that long okay Colonize Panama. Interesting. Is that's in a different um, colonial region, right? Where is that map mode? Region map mode, coalition map mode. I kind of forget what it looks like. There it is. Colonial Colombia, yeah. And this is Colonial Caribbean. I just realized that I can walk between these islands. <laughs> that never used to be the case. So I should have just colonized this island and gone down the chain. Oh well. It's not a huge deal. Um, what I should be doing now, merge you guys up is I should be exploring from the Maldives. So let's go ahead and do that. That was, that whole Georgian thing is really weird. It's just like, like they just threw themselves on my, uh, into my Empire. Uh, June of next year. Okay, improve relations. Peasants Revolt. I didn't think it was a serious risk. Almost converted the Black Sea into a Byzantine lake. 
Uh, oh, Minty's Nationalist again. Well, there's a new. I knew there was a reason why I sent you there. That's planes, right? Yeah. And because I'm the defender in the mountains, I should win. <laughs> uh, not surprised. I never stopped rivaling you. Why did you stop rivaling me? Um, that separate peace penalty is going to be kind of annoying, but I should be able to deal with it. Oh, I forgot. That army doesn't have a leader, does it? Well, that's silly. That's 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 just a boneheaded forgetful mistake on my part. That's going to wind up costing me a lot of manpower. Yeah, eight, like friggin' 10,000 manpower. Oh, my national ducat is, my national loan is due. Fortunately, I have enough money to repay it. Okay. Um, what do I want to fabricate next? Um, probably some of these. Well, Golden Horde is probably still next on my list, so... Yeah, let's fabricate a claim on this. Do I have a coalition currently? Just Golden Horde is the coalition. So I'd like to attack them before my truce with Kara ends. So that Kara doesn't join the coalition. Should be able to take most, if not all, of their land. Okay, does this tell me how long it's going to take? It doesn't. Fifty percent advisor cost is not going to be an issue. My um, what kind of theologian? Let me just take a look at No, that doesn't show it. Um One of these shows negative revolt risk. matter of finding it. At least I thought one of them did. Uh, building big factory. Oh yeah, here we go. So five revolt risk. 
Yeah, I'm way below that. It's almost everywhere. So I'll have a few problems in some of the provinces that I just took. But shouldn't be anything I can't handle. Um, the only question is how long is it going to take? And is it still do, worth doing in 1591? I think it is still doing in, or it's still worth doing in 1591. Um, of course, the other downside is that if I westernize, it's going to allow the nations that I border to westernize. If I don't westernize, then a nation like Kara, who is in the Muslim group will never I'll, I'll always have an advantage over them but it will be increasingly difficult for me to keep up with the other Western European nations if I don't westernize um, So it's kind of a tough call. If I ever was going to westernize, now would be the time for sure. Um, Enter technology group to Western. So let's see, twenty four hundred. The base is six hundred. So twenty percent of six hundred is one hundred and twenty. So I'll make those monarch point back. One hundred and twenty. Twenty four hundred divided by one hundred and twenty uh, is. Let me see, 2400. Twenty four hundred divided by one hundred and twenty. Twenty. So I'll make it back after I buy twenty more technologies. I definitely will buy 20 more technologies over the course of the game. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's get it over with. Um, yeah, the biggest downside is allowing other countries that I border to westernize, like Kara, but that's okay. Um, Okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and buy our stability back up to plus two. Um, Let's see. And let's go ahead and reduce our war exhaustion. Okay, so that will get rid of the internal conflict limiting disaster. Go ahead and send out my missionaries. So I have a, a few provinces with some small amount of revolt risk. Uh, yeah, I lost Sicilian. I knew that would happen soon. It's all right. I converted them all first. And they should be, yeah, they're all back down to zero autonomy now. 
It's going to cost me some income, but no worse than that. Okay, Austria separate priest out bottom. Okay, six each. It's going to take me 11 years, more years, according to this. Um, ignore their demands. So yeah, I'm going to have to remain relatively peaceful during this time, although we can probably sque still squeeze in a war against the Golden Horde. They don't have any meaningful allies, and they can't really put up much of a fight. Moscovy hasn't westernized, has they? No. I don't think they can't. Well, no, they should be able... Well, nope, they can't. They don't have a border... Because Novgorod hasn't westernized and Lithuania hasn't westernized, so they don't have a border with a western power. So I'm going to run myself right out of Diplo power here <laughs> through westernizing. That's okay. Uh, okay. That's good. That's all of their aggressiveness. Uh, you have some ships that need to be repaired, don't you? Yeah, you do. This Navy finished exploring. It did. Alright, go ahead and explore that. And let's go explore the rest of this too. Um, and then, yeah. We'll do a quick western exploration trip. Finished re nope, not yet. Uh, let's send you someplace where there actually is revolt risk. I'm going to bump the speed up to three since we've got at least a couple years of not much going on happening. Um, I'm going to take a look at things. Great Britain managed to reconquer most of Scotland. 
Moscovy is about to form Russia, and they finally started colonizing. Oh no, that they took. I think they took that from cyber. I don't think they. Eh. No, they started colonizing that. They haven't. They didn't take that from cyber. Um, Mamluks are still hanging on. Um, and we fabricate that for sure. Well, two years of minus one global unrest is helpful for sure. Um, France, Milan, Milan is, France is still in really poor shape over here. Um, journey finished um, ten years of minus ten percent national tax modifier and ten years of minus one percent national unrest well, I'd rather have that than the westernization progress loss. All right. Let's finish off that. Colonies making excellent progress. It should be done relatively soon. Let's start colonizing over here. Probably gonna start colonizing in there too if I can. You'll be fine. All right, we actually achieved religious unity. Unbelievable. Um, what is our current army? 53, all right. We can absolutely protect against Portugal. I need to um, 7 2 11, 8 1 11. Yeah, I need to recruit a bunch more troops anyway. Um, 7 2 11. So let's see, let's do 6 2 1 for that one. Yeah, that'll be, oh no, I want seven, two, one. That'll be um, 14, four, 12. Actually, let's go up to 16, four, 12, yeah. All right, um, 174, that's fine. Uh, And then when that 
that finishes, I'll get this one back up to speed. Because I'm sure I'm well below my force limit. Yeah, well below. Should not take too much longer, actually. Oh, our explorer died. Oh. Hmm. Did I discover this province? I did. you vassalization not yet um so I don't think I yeah I can't fabricate a claim on you um And I want to hire another explorer. I do, but I don't. You'll hold off. How close is this? Oh, yeah, that's almost done. Five, so that would be seventy nine. So I need another eleven. All right, um, I should be able to get that. Go ahead and send a gift. Drop it back down to speed two while I deal with this. Okay, we got a new heir who's only six years younger than our current monarch. So he's the odds of him actually landing on the throne are pretty slim. The current monarch's a tad bit better than he is. But most importantly, our monarch should mean that we should have no problem finishing our westernization as long as we don't get any as long as we don't get too many nasty events. Um, so yeah, six, six, six. So we're still making a little bit of admin power, but we're not making any military power, and we're losing one diplomat power. Okay. Uh, we can also go back to war again. Um. And I think I will. Uh, let's put my leader in charge of this army, and then I'm going to send you, where can you actually stand over here? You'll probably stand there. You can probably stand there. I'll send you here. Oh yeah, you're only 32 big. I thought you were bigger than that for some reason. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you there. Prepare, preparation for my attack on the Golden Horde. Um, 
I'll send you there. Uh, where? All the way over there. Hungry finally dealt with those rebels. Um, okay. I'll send you to deal with that. Um, This is going to drag me into war with Moscovy? Really? Austria? Austria, you bastard. Well, the good news is that, well, the bad news is this is almost certainly going to postpone my war against the Golden Horde. The good news is that, uh, well, there isn't any good news. Okay. Okay, fine. Hopefully I can separate peace out relatively quickly. Oh, I was going to say the good news was is now I'm at war in, on the same side as Spain. So if I wanted to attack Portugal right now, I could. But I don't want to attack Portugal right now. Okay, finishes that mission. 
Um, sure, let's go ahead and start colonizing that. And since I can't afford another explorer right now, I'll go ahead and start colonizing this. battle and then you can give them back to the other army. Oh yeah, I was gonna I don't think I can offer vassalization. Well the target country's at not at war, so I can offer vassalization. Um Alright, so improve relations. And then if I offer you military access, then you should accept the vassalization. diplomats. Oh right, so I have to call him back. Okay. I think this is the first, yeah, this is going to be the first peaceful vassalization that I will have done this game. Uh, spare no expenses for admin points, please. Excellent. Really don't want to fight you, Russia. Well, wow. Austria is sending an army to attack Moscovy. That is hilarious. I suppose it does make some sort of sense, though. Um, well, you know what? With Austria's army down here, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't declare war on the Golden Horde. I'll let Austria and Moscovy fight each other, and I can take the Golden Horde in the meantime. But... That we'll have to wait until the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel. In either case, I hope you have a terrific day.